let's jump in here to our Lambda. And this is going to be where we actually set up a wideband, a 0 to 5 volt input to our ECU. So we're going to have the ability on most Flash Pro applications to wire in our 0 to 5 volt wire from our wideband. And we're going to be wiring that into the pin designation uh, for this particular file type. So for the 8th gen, it's saying that I can wire it into these three different pins. I have the choice to wire them in here. Um, if we don't know what these pins correspond to, so it's telling us EGRL, EGR lift. We don't know what pin that is. We jump in here to help and to Flash Pro Contents. We jump up here to uh, Contents, go to Reference, go to ECU Connectors, we double click on that. And that's going to go in and open up what these pins mean on our particular application. So we can see here 20, uh, 2006 to 2011 CIFIC SI. It's going to designate what that is. So we are on, if we bump this down here, we have it set on EGRL. And if we look here, B29 is EGRL, wideband input, say normally unused. And then if we're trying to figure out what pin location is actually on the connector, it's going to give us what the connectors are. So it's going to be on this B connector. And then it's going to show us how to count the pin locations in our connector. So we can show us actually where B29 is. And then it's also going to go here and show us how to disassemble the connector with a uh, pick and then uh, going in and inserting the pin. It's going to show us all that information here. So if we're trying to wire in a wideband, it's going to show us a nice illustration of how to do that. Now once we've wired it in, if we notice that uh, after we set our scale here, so I'm going to assume I'm on an AEM gauge, uh, that's a digital wideband gauge, so 0 volt is 10 to 1 and 5 volt is 20 to 1, it's a pretty simple scale. If I know that my wideband is reading different, so under here wideband voltage and wideband, if I notice this wideband value here is reading different than my gauge, I might have to go into my wideband voltage offset here and start changing this value um, a little bit. So we might try negative 0.1, we go and flash the ECU, and then we check out what the wideband was reading here, and we'd keep changing this value so that they're going to match. We ultimately want our wideband gauge having the same display value here as the, the wideband in the software. Um, if you notice that you have some massive number, say negative one or something huge, a huge voltage offset, try to reground your gauge to a different ground, to a different chassis ground.